welcome all welcome to the live session at o2 breathing brains this is prasanna and i must uh, thank you all of you to be a part of this entire live session program i think we are conducting this live session since uh 6 8th of specifically 6th of uh, october and these sessions are dedicated or exclusively uh, are conducted are being conducted for uh, wipro nlth 2020 as you know that this wipro nlth is a national qualifier test conducted by wipro so i am very thankful that the response since the first live lecture is, is not not i could say much good but it's it's, it's as expected because i really know that all the engineering students are busy with their internal submissions orals and already few companies have recruited few of uh, students from various colleges but still i know that there are mammoth amount of i could say there are large number of students those who are still looking for this looking out for this opportunity so i request you all to share this these videos with your friends those who are not yet placed and uh, so that it, it will be helpful in the upcoming few days we will be conducting uh, sessions for verbal ability that is synonym antonym fill in the blanks few grammar things as well already we have covered reading comprehension part 1 part 2 anil patel sir has already covered it those sessions are already available on youtube in in live in in the uh, list our playlist on our, at our channel next is uh, there was one more session conducted by shefali uh, and she has already delivered uh, passage writing basic now she is going to conduct passage writing advanced and passage writing applied consecutively on 12th and 3rd october 13th october so i request you all to go and uh, watch this video so that they are going to definitely be very much helpful to all of you uh, next is there will be few sessions lined there are few sessions lined up for number system tomorrow i'm going to conduct number system and today my session is based on the concept of uh, number series which is prominently being asked into uh, logical reasoning section and few times it is also being asked into number series as well i request ajay sir to show me the real time screen so that i will be able to understand like how is it going on and instead of wasting much of time i would like to take that forward because anyways those who are going to miss this session are able to watch this entire lecture uh, on youtube later on as well and usually i have seen much much traffic in the uh, the time of say i could say midnight around at and around midnight so that let's take that forward uh how many students are there ajay sir okay fine so let me take this forward first of all uh go to the real time screen because anyways as the traffic is low i won't be able to uh, see the comments first of all uh, as you can see on the slide as you can check on the slide that in the in the case of number series basically the problems being asked are of type find missing numbers you can see on my uh, left hand side my left hand side and your right hand side you can check on the screen that uh, the first is find the number missing number that is the first type of question the second type of question that is available on the slide show is find out the odd man out or wrong numbers they they will tell you that to find out uh, which is the wrong number in the given series or they will tell you figure out the odd man out in the given series so these are the two typical types of questions being asked in the wipro examination i would like to also note one more point over here that is in case of number series there may be some more additional type of questions that are being asked but as the entire scope of this session or today session is totally based on or exclusively based on wipro lecture wipro nlts lecture i would be only restricting myself to these type two sessions which are 
frequently being asked into ipro nlth so to take this forward on the next slide uh, you will find the type of series because what i feel is when i am going to solve some questions in this lecture say maybe 15 or 16 questions i am going to cover in today's lecture that are very frequently asked in past few years in wipro examinations not one not the nacl qualified test as we know that this is the second time wipro is conducting an lth but in the previous years as well in 16 17 18 there is a consistent pattern of the questions that are asked into that exam so today i am going to cover 15 problems of uh, the type that are that is expected or that is uh, supposed to be uh, appeared in this examination so as you can see in the slide go to the real time screen as you can see in this uh, slide that the first series is pure series right the second is different series these are the types of series so before solving these 15 questions i would like to brief you i would like to just you to understand what is pure series what is different series what is ratio series what is mixed series i will go one by one i will also try to give an example to elaborate these series so that you will you people will better understand and then we will try to correlate how to use this knowledge this basic knowledge of series to solve the questions coming in the exam all right so before going ahead i would like to introduce uh, mr ajay who is going to help me out in the session he is he is there for help us help me rather to reach you out and also today i have with me divya who is going to also deliver some sessions on 16 and 17 right so first of all i would request ajay sir to uh, clear out the screen so that i will be able to viewers will be able to see me on a larger screen <coughs> so the first type of series is pure series right what is this pure series let me explain you with an example there are some series for example let's take 1 4 i hope the number is visible to all of viewers 1 4 9 16 and so on so if you look at these numbers you will carefully observe that there is a there is a specific pattern that this is a series of squares of numbers the square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is going to be 16 if i would take this forward the square of uh, say 5 is going to be 25 the square of uh, 6 will be 36 and so on so this is an example this is a this is a classic example of a se number series having having squares of numbers so this is a pure series it is in the pure form it is in a, in a direct form having squares of given numbers i would like to also give you an example let's go ahead with this series let's say 7 11 13 17 probably you people will Uh, immediately figure out the type of series this is what type of series is this this is a series of all the prime numbers am i right this is a series of prime numbers so given numbers will be all given numbers will be prime numbers so again this is in its original form in a direct form now there could be a series of perfect cube say uh, cube of 2 if i'm not wrong 8 cube of 3 is going to be 27 and directly that will be going ahead in the this particular pattern so pure series what i mean by pure series it's a direct form in which the given numbers are in a uh, direct correlation of say squares prime numbers cubes addition of two numbers and and so on for example we could have a we could have a num series in this way 2 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 This is again a pure series. It, it, it will give you the direct relationship between two consecutive numbers in the given series. I would request Ajay sir to display that uh, screen so that uh, all the viewers will be able to see the second point. The second point is difference series, right? 
so if you will remove that i would like to add some examples into it meanwhile how many viewers are there okay all right all right all right so what what we mean by difference is let me give you an example huh just look at the board just look on the board the series i'm going to write as 1 6 11 16 21 22 Now, if you observe this trend, the first number is one, the second is six, the next is eleven, next is sixteen. Now, if you look at this, the difference between two consecutive number is always remaining five. Am I right? Yes or no? Always the difference is five. So, what is the meaning of different series? In a given series, in a given series. the difference is same so that is the reason it is called as a difference series now is it is it mandatory or is it every time the case that the difference between these two numbers is always pi always the same this is not the case there could be another possibility that the difference between two consecutive numbers could be perfect square could be perfect cube could be a difference is could be a prime number for example uh let's take an example 5 6 10 19 35 60 5 6 so if you observe this the difference between these two is 1 difference between these two is 4 difference between these two is 9 difference between these two is yes the difference between 35 and 19 don't calculate that difference definitely the difference is going to be yes 16 am i right and the next will be obviously 25 because the difference has got a pattern that the difference between the consecutive numbers are perfect squares right so even i could write another example where the difference in the series could be could be prime numbers the difference in this given series could be perfect cubes so what what i mean by different series is there is certain pattern in the difference of two consecutive numbers in the given series now let's go ahead with the third type i would like to ask ajay sir to just show on uh, that particular ppt on the screen yes as you could see the third type is ratio series oh if you will look on the first type the pure series and the different series you are always we are trying to establish a relationship between two numbers you are getting my point we are trying to have certain relationship in consec two consecutive numbers in the same way now the in the given series the relation between two consecutive numbers is going to be a ratio you are getting my point first was pure series second was difference series so in the second different series the relationship between two consecutive numbers was based on the difference the third is ratio so what i mean to say by this is the relationship between these two numbers will be will be ratio uh i would request all the viewers like i don't know how many viewers are there i have not seen that i have not checked it but how many whatever it may be how many users are viewers are there i would like to comment them one all the viewers those who are watching this this video please comment one just comment one so that i will be uh, able to connect with you comment one all the viewers please comment one okay mr manoj kumar has commented deepak has come up manoj kumar thank you manoj would you help me to understand uh, you are from which location mr manoj i would like to know from which location you are if possible amit sir are great that's really great 
I'm I'm not sure that I would be able to teach you like the way you do it, but I'm just trying at my best. Inmay has come. She said one. Mono sir, just I would like to know. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much, sir. If you have any suggestions about these videos, please let us know. I would request Ajay sir to type my email address so that I would be able to connect with Mr. Manoj later on. Please type my email address. Hello. So people are there with us. Let's go ahead. Let's try to understand the ratio series, right? Ratio series. So let me just give you an example. Let's take six. 12 24 48 next is 96 next is 192 now if you look at this entire series probably that has not gone out of the okay all right so if you look at this series the ratio between these two consecutive number has remained the same over this period of entire series look at that Look at this. This is two. Am I right? It's multiplied by two. Few of the times, many people call it as multiplier series, multiplication series. That is also okay because, anyways, ratio is something a divided by b or b divided by n. You, we can call it as multiplication. So that is also fair. That there is no problem. But I call it as a ratio series. The ratio between first number and two number is two, or the se the second number is a multiple of two. As compared to first number, next is again it is two, again it is two. Continuously, this series is doubled or multiplied by two. Am I right? You are getting my point, everybody. Let me give you another example. So let's take it ahead. Five, fifteen, thirty, ninety, and finally it is one eighty. So let's let's look at this. Five into three, fifteen. Fifteen into two, thirty. Now thirty into three, ninety. And again ninety into two, that is one eighty. So if I would tell you that, try to calculate the next number in the series. That number is going to be a multiplication of three for one eighty. So one eighty into three, because if you look. The train is constant. The first, it's a multiplication by three. Another is a multiplication by two. Again, there is the same train, the multiplication by three, multiplication by two. So the relationship between two consecutive number is a ratio or is multiplication. In the same way, there could be multiple ratios. Sometimes, sometimes these people give it in geometric progressions as well. What I mean to say about this, I am going to. Anyways, I am going to explain it later on when I am going to tell you how to identify the trend of a series. I am going to tell you in that. What is the third type? I would like to re request Ajay sir to show the presentation into the uh, view of this. Okay. The next is a mixed series. Let me give you an example. What is mixed series? Let me give you an example. This is one, two, six, twenty-one, eighty-eight, four hundred and forty-five, two six seven six. Am I right? One two six two one eighty-eight forty-five. Now you look at this particular series. Basically, as you could observe that. Okay. Would you like? Would you want me to write again? Okay, so basically, look at the series. We have already seen that there could be pure series, which is in direct form of certain trend. There could be different series that the difference in uh, two numbers will be same over the period of time. The difference. The second is what the ratio series, or as there is a difference, there could be some addition on two numbers. Again, that is a part of different series. Now, in this case, this particular case. There is no such a trend that this is not a multiplication. If you look at it, one into two, two threes are six something. There is no multiplication. There is no ratio. Absolutely, there is no ratio. For example, if you look at it, this is 
three types or multiplication there is no ratio there is no multiplication there is no difference there is no addition there is no such specific trend right any comment okay the last number is 2676 next time i will make sure that i will write on this side now look at me in such cases the given series is a combination of two or more than two types that i have already explained to you may the series may be a combination of difference in ratio may be a combination of difference in pure may be a combination of geometric progression plus uh, say something now if you look at this particular series the series is 1 into 1 so i will take this one first 1 into 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 now let's go ahead with the second take this number 2 into 2 plus 2 so this is 6 now let's take another example the next number this is one 6 into 3 plus 3 that is 21 now let's go ahead now if you observe we are adding this 1 to each multiplier and we are also adding 1 to the this particular number so the next is going to be 21 into 4 that is 84 plus next is 3 plus 1 is 4 answer is 88 now if you look at this trend this is a combination of multiplication and addition i am multiplying the given number the previous number by a particular number in ascending order and i am also adding the same number that i have multiplied here in the ascending order so it's a combination of two or more than two trends so this is the reason this is called as mixed series i would request ajay sir to uh, bring that on slide as i have already mentioned that the next is geometric series so <clears throat> i think it's very How many viewers are there? Okay, all right. So I hope you you may have come in the middle of the explanation, but I would like to uh, just have a review of it. I have just explained what is pure series, then I have explained what is different series, then I have explained what is ratio series, then I have just recently explained mixed series, and now I am going to talk about geometric series. So you have not missed much part. Be be continue. Be there with me. i'm going to explain 15 problems what which are frequently being asked into wipro so be there with me consistently with me hello let's go ahead what is geometric uh, series basically sometimes the series which is given to us goes on increasing what i mean to say goes on increasing with large values what i mean to say by this is if this is a small number first of all now there is a there is a marge there is a huge rise in the given number the number is much high now so the next number will be more than this again there will be some large value in this fashion the series will go on increasing or sometimes it will go on decreasing right and you will find that there is a geometric proportion into these values so this is the reason it is called as geometric series i can give you an example look at it Take this number six forty two two ninety four. Ajay sir, help me so that I will not be like going out of the screen. The next number is two zero five eight, and finally it is one four four zero six. Deepak sir, is it visible? Deepak sir, Deepak sir, is it visible? Okay. i request amit sir amit naik sir that if he is there in the session right now as well please type one if amit sir is there please type one i would like to have an interaction with you amit sir i would also like to tell all the rest of the viewers that amit sir himself is a trainer 
he himself is a trainer he is a very good uh, teacher in logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude i am really happy that i could find him in my session so that i would be definitely getting compliments as well as feedback what is going wrong and what is going right i am sir type 1 so look at you all the viewers you look 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 here give check the number given here 642 right 294 205 so if you look at the train you will clearly observe that the numbers are getting increased in some proportion and obviously you will be able to immediately figure out that the multiple is 7 now you just need to cross verify 42 into 7 whether this is going to be 294 or not let us do it in a simple way 40 into 7 is 280 40 into 7 is 280 plus 2 into 7 that is 14 so 280 plus 14 is 294 so trend is identified let's do it in the same way look at it 200 into 7 is going to be 1400 am i right 200 into 7 is 1400 next it is 90 so 90 into 7 97 da 63 that is 630 And finally, four sevens are twenty-eight. So if you add up this, you will get two zero five eight. So trend is identified. It's a it's a series of geometric progression with a factor seven. Am I right? So this is one. This was an example. Now, if you look at this, this was a train. This was a train which was ascending. Ah, huh? numbers are increasing. Numbers are going on increasing. Now there is a there is also a, another possibility that there could be a series in geometric progression, but the series will be in ascending order. That is, the series will go on decreasing. For example, we can take a series like two, eight, six, seven, two, three, five, eight. Four, 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 eight, fifty-six, and seven. Now let's look at this. Now the first number was a very huge number. Then it is, it is, it is drastically reduced. It is reduced with a high difference. Again the same story. Again the same story. So if you look at the last pair of numbers, you will recognize that there is a multiplication of eight. you need to just understand it, whether the number has continued whether the train has continued or not so just check 50 into 8 is 400 am i right just look at it break this 56 into two parts that will uh, make your calculations easier ha uh, 50 plus 6 so 50 into 8 is 400 and 6 into 8 is 48 so that is 448 Verified. Now let's repeat the same thing. Let's break the entire number 448 into three parts. So the first is 400. So 400 into 7 is 2800. If I'm not wrong, am I right? Everybody, you are getting my point. I'm trying to help you to calculate in a faster way. You are getting my point. That is the uh, objective that I have. I have broken this number. I have broken this number into three parts: 400, 48, 8. So the first is 2800. Am I right? No, I'm wrong. I'm going to multiply by 8. So 400 into 8 is 3200. Next is 40 into 8, that is 320. And next is 8 into 8, that is 64. Now I think as the unit digit is 4, I get. I think we have reached. Next is six plus two eight. Again verified. Last two digits are verified. Three plus two five. No need to calculate further. The number is three four two. Again, it is a series of eight and so on. You can cross verify whether this trend is same or not. So this is what we call it as geometric series. You are getting my point. I would like to ask Ajay sir to bring the presentation inside. So we have just seen this these types of series, pure series, right? Different series, ratio series, mixed series, geometric series. Now there is a very interesting type of series that is very important, very crucial in in, in solving the problems given in the examination. That is, uh, you can remove the presentation slide. 
so that I would be able to use the entire board. I'm going to write a series on board. I would like my audience, I would like to ask my viewers to, to respond to the question. Look at the series. 4, 5, 9, I hope I will be on, on the screen. 16, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Will be really okay. Yes. 4, 5, 9, 16, 26, 39, 55, and finally 74. I hope the screen is visible to all of you. Right? So, I would request you because I have Ruturaj with me, I have Chinmay with me and I would request you all to just find out the trend into this particular series. I just said you can remove that presentation part. Go to the live thing so that I would be able to see how many students are there, how many viewers are there. Okay. So, try to find out the pattern into this. Try to find, find out the pattern into this. The given series is 4, 5, Nine, sixteen, twenty-six, thirty-nine, fifty-five, and seventy-four. Now, as we could see that uh, the given numbers are not are not increasing. That means it is not either ratio or it is not in geometric progression because numbers are close to each other. The difference between four and five is one. The difference between 9 and 5 is 4. The difference between 9 and 16 is 7. The difference between... So, probably this is something... I could say that this is something which is... We can call it as different series. Right? So, 1, 4, 7, 16 plus 26. It is 10. Next is, I think, 13. Next is, yes... 39 plus 55. So 1 is 40 and 15, that is 16. 55 plus 74, 55, 65, 75. So it's going to be 19. Am I right? Manoj Kumar says 1, 4, 7, 10. 1, 4, 7, 10, adding 3. Absolutely correct, Manoj sir. Chinmay Bosle says 95. Chinmay, somehow I'm not able to recognize, but Manoj sir has identified in a very proper way. Uh, Manoj sir, I would put it in different way. You say, you say we are adding 3. Uh, I would say the difference between these, these numbers are 3. But both, both the way uh, is going to be the same. But try to understand my point. This type of series is called as 2 tier series. What I mean to say by this is, in the earlier types of series, in case of pure series, in case of geometric series, in case of in case of uh, ratio series whatever relation was there that was immediately established in the first generation series itself so we we had a first series we figured out the uh, relation between two numbers and we finalized that that this is the trend now in this case this has not happened this is the first generation series that was given to us now we have find out the difference and we have another series which is a second generation series and in this second generation now we have successfully established relation between two numbers that is difference between this series is 3 everywhere. So that is the reason this is called as a two tier series. So many times in the examination, you will, you people will not be able to identify or you will not be able to establish the relation between the given numbers in a particular series immediately in the first original series. For that reason, you have to calculate the relation amongst these numbers and then you will be able to figure out 
the relation in the second generation and then you will be able to fix the trend of the series this is called as two tier series i would also like to give you an example of uh, another I, 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 this is just this the next example is going to be just an extension of the part that i have uh, just recently explained to you uh, write down a series on paper write down a series on paper oh ho ashutosh has come he says the next is 96 so ashutosh sir thank you thank you so much for coming to the live i would like to tell all the viewers that ashutosh is working into a mnc he himself is a atc engineer he was very good at mathematics though i was used to teach him uh, integration and derivation in 12th is a very very hard working person in mathematics so nice to have you in this lecture ashutosh sir next series is for you write down 392 the first number is 392 the next is 245 the next is 140 the next is 70 the next is 28 the next is 7 and finally it's going to be 0 i would like to correct chinmay and ashutosh sir that you people have answered the final answer i guess right my question to you is my quest is to figure out the trend in the given series not to find out the final answer try to find out the trend in the given series as monosher has rightly done it he has perfectly identified the relation into it so monosher i would request you to find out the trend into this series this is quite difficult this time it's not going to be as easy as you all viewers are thinking just to not to disturb you i would go away from the board so that you will be able to clearly see the screen you can check this is 392 245 and as i was telling you now it seems that this series is into ratio series because this numbers are gradually going on decreasing and the first number is a very small number and the sorry the second last number is a very small number and the last last number is comparatively a bit larger but try to understand my point definitely this series is not going to be ratio series or multiplication series because the rightmost number is zero and if you multiply any number with zero the answer is going to be zero so you will not be able to establish you will not be able to uh, have a relationship of ratio geometric ratio maybe something like this you will not be able to find out it you are getting my point so try to think in a different way i would i would expect answer from manoj sir ruturaj sir if he is there i would request ruturaj sir chinmay madam and divya madam as well you can contribute how many viewers are there i, I could see. okay good <clears throat> so look at this i have already clearly told you that this is not a arithmetic series this is not a geometric series this is not going to be a ratio series this is not going to be a multiplication series now let's try to find out as i was telling you in the earlier example it's a three level series need to go three levels perfect ashutosh sir you are right absolutely right the earlier was a two tier series right earlier was a two tier series this is a three tier series so just try to find out the difference between these two the difference is 147 if i am not wrong the way i have done it is more important if you will start calculating the difference in this way 392 minus 245 now you will make 12 and this is the wrong way to have this calculations just try to add some number some number so that you will find this value so 245 you can add 5 to this this will give you 250 Now 250 to 400, right? This is 100 and 100 and yes, how much it is? 150. I think we have to take difference two times. Perfect, Prithvira sir. I am trying to tell you, add five so that you will reach 250. Then add 150 directly so that you will reach you will reach 400. Let me explain for all my students because. 
usually we people are used to use calculators but in this particular type of examinations you are not allowed to use calculator so we have to understand the way we calculate this this things hmm? look at look at this numbers i'm i'm trying to explain you what is the difference between these two and the way i am doing it is very 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 easy i have, i usually do it i will add 5 this will take me to 250 now i will add directly 150 so that it will reach me to 400 but my answer is 392 correct so i have to minus 8 from this thing but actually i have added 5 to it right so i will only subtract 3 that is minus 3 so 150 minus 3 will be 147 147 now if you will practice if you will rehearse this that will help you to understand same thing 100 140 to 240 that is 100 correct plus 5 so the difference is going to be 105 next is it's double so the difference is 70 next is 28 plus 2 30 30 plus 40 is 70 so probability it is 42 next is 7 plus it's multiple of 7 itself so this is 21 now this is 7 still you can observe there is no specific trend now this was first generation series this is second generation series still you don't have any relationship let's know let's deep dive into the calculations now what is the difference between these two same strategy look at it 105 add 5 we will get 100 and 10 and next is 47 do you remember remember right so 47 plus 5, this is 47 plus 5 so what is the difference tell me is going to be चलो डू इट डू द कैलकुलेशन लुक एट मी वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव प्लस फोर्टी वन फोर्टी फाइव एडिशनल इज टू बी फोर्टी टू मोर फोर्टी टू नाउ लुक एट दिस सेवेंटी प्लस थर्टी इज हंड्रेड फाइव इज थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी टू प्लस सेवेंटी सो फोर्टी टू प्लस एट इज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी दिस इज ट्वेंटी एट नाउ आई कुड हैव a sense that there is some trend it's a multiple of 7 7 fours are 7 fives are 7 sixes are so now i need to just validate that whether whatever uh, i'm i have figured out this correct or wrong okay this 21 so obviously it is 21 it's 14 now the trend has recognized that there is a there is a multiplication series or ratio series at the third generation now you look at look at this this is 14 difference is 7 again 7 again 7 again 7 or you could directly say 7 2 ja 7 3 ja 7 4 ja now you can able to identify the relationship into this series so probably this is the way uh, the series go on um, like you will find more complexity in the this type of series and they are obviously asked into multiple examinations and multiple uh, types of these things so i would like to check how many viewers are there okay all right good so let me take this forward i would like to have just a quick revision of uh, whatever i have delivered right now you can bring it on screen so we have just try to understand what types of series it is a pure series different series ratio series mixed series geometric series and two tier series right and the final is a twin series that is very important because majority of the times you will find when a series is a very complex type of series is going to be a twin series so what is twin series let's try to understand the twin series uh write down a given series write down a given series 1 2 3 minus 2 5 minus 8 7 minus 16 and 9 hopefully i am on, on the screen right correct okay so look at it <clears throat> it's very interesting definitely this is not multiplication huh? 
This is definitely not geometric progression. You need to understand this. The numbers are very close to each other. But the interesting part into this is, there are certain positive numbers and there are certain negative numbers into given series. So this becomes quite interesting. Let me tell you. Difference between first and the second is, sorry, first and the third is 2. Difference between third and fifth is again 2. Difference between this and this, this is 1, first, third, third, fifth, fifth, seventh, again 2. You can see, you can check the difference between numbers alternate to each other, right, is 2. It's common. Now let's go ahead. Check the difference between these two. The difference is minus 4. Now let's check the difference between these two. The difference is minus 6. Am I right? What is next? The difference between these two is minus 8. So probably you will see the relation, same relation over here. This is what we call it as twin series, which is a combination of two, two series, two different series, negative and positive. So if, if I ask you to calculate the next number, you should try to understand that the next number, I will keep it blank, definitely the next number is 11, am I right? If I am not wrong, am I right? What will be this, num this particular number? In order to calculate that particular number, you have to consider this relationship first. That is, the difference between this number and this number have to be minus 4, minus 6, minus 8, that is minus 10. Am I right? Because this is going to be minus 2. So, 16 minus 10, that is minus 26. This is the way we have to deal with this particular scene. You are getting my point? So, I would, I would request Ajay sir to bring everything on the screen and I would request all the users to check on the left part of uh, the screen, or rather your right part, mine left part, that the first is, I would try to have one by one, the first is pure series, right? You can check on the screen, pure series. The another is uh, different series, then ratio, then mixed. Ajay sir, please bring your monitor into your left side. Oh, no, say, ha, yes. The next is ratio series. The next is mixed series. You are able to recall all these types of series simultaneously. You are able to understand pure numbers, cubes, squares and everything. If yes, I have got 15 problems for you. Quick, 15 problems. I am going to, I will, I will put it on screen first. I will give you a certain amount of time for you to try this problem. And then we will go ahead. I would request all the viewers to type 1 if they are able to understand whatever we have delivered. I welcome Shefali, Ajay, Ajay Shah. Ajay Shah, welcome. I think this is the second time I am uh, able to see Mr. Ajay Shah. That day he was there with reading comprehension session as well. So I would request all the viewers to type 1. If Ashutosh sir is still there, type 1. If Amit Kumar Naik is there, type 1. If Ajay sir is there, type 1. I request all the viewers to type 1. Raman sir. Welcome to the session, Raman sir. It's really nice to have you there. I would request you to give me feedback, give me compliments on my lecture. And let me, I am I'm a little bit nervous now because, yes, Manoj Kumar sir, thank you so much. I am a little bit nervous now because Amit sir and people, expert people like Amit sir and Raman sir are present in the Shreya Dikshit. Thank you so much. You are there. Thank you so much. Ajay sir, please. Pragati Kauthekar. Okay. Thank you so much. Inmay madam, thank you so much. I was telling you that these people are really are 
uh, expert into this domain, Mr. Raman, Mr. Amit. So I'm really, I'm really glad to have these people on the session right now. I request all the all the viewers now to FLA Madam is still there. That's good. FLA Madam, you will learn mathematics if you will go in this way. You will continue with the lectures. Thank you so much. I'm not able to see Ruturaj sir. Okay, this will Ajay sir, this will continue. You go and you put the first problem on the slide. You put the first problem on the slide. Yes. So I think it's visible now. I have I have put the first problem on the screen now. Huh? You try to give it try on this problem, and then I will explain that problem to you all. So it's a very very simple problem, I guess. The given problem is we have 985. You can check in the screen. You can check on your screen that the problem is the first number is 985. The second is 874. The next is 763. It's a very simple series. Any anybody can do it in a fraction of time. It is possible. There is a difference of uh, 101, I guess. That is, if you look at these two numbers carefully, 985 and 874, that is the first two numbers that we have in a given series. If you look at this, 8 plus 100 is 900, 74 and 85, the difference is of 11, right? The difference is of 11. So, that will be difference of 111, 111. Rudra sir, 652. Perfect, perfect. Everybody, you have done it in a fantastic way. 763. The different 111. Next difference is 111. In order to keep the same difference, do it 600. So, this is really important. Huh? Now, whatever I am going to tell you is very crucial. Whatever I am going to tell you is very crucial. Difference between uh, if you subtract 100 from 763. You will get 6, 600, right? Now, in this case, you have to check how many of given options have got 600 in it. Basically, C and D are rejected. So, only possibility is with 652 and 642, right? So, 63 minus 11. So, 60 minus 11 itself will give you 5. You need not to calculate further. Select the option A and your answer will be there, right? Am I right? The precise answer is 652. But you need not to calculate at the till the end digit. Just you need to understand the difference between six, uh, 700 and 100 is, is going to be 600. There are only two options. 63 minus 10 itself is going to be in the decade of 65, 650. So the answer must be in between 650 to 660. There is the one. There is only one option that is 652. Right? You are there. So I would request Ajay sir to take this to the next because the problem was quite easy. Let's go ahead. Now there is next problem on your screen. Find the next term in a given series. 2, 3, 6, 18, 108. Now in, you need to follow a particular pattern to solve this type of questions. The very first step that you all have to understand is Try to figure out the trend, whether this is a uh, arithmetic series, different series, multiplication series, this is a geometric series. Try to figure out the way. Now, I could tell you, this is definitely a multiplication kind of series, definitely. Because gradually the trend is going on increasing. It has started at 2, now it has gone to 108. That is, it, it is almost, almost... Uh, I could say some times of this. Manoj Kumar says D. Perfect. You are right. You are absolutely right. This is 2, 3, 6, 18 and 108. So, what is the relation amongst them? Could anybody tell me? Could anybody tell me? Yes. 
anybody please tell me any relation this is 3 2 is a 6 right 3 2 is a 6 6 3 is a 18 18 6 is a 108 am i right you are able to understand this 2 3 is a 6 so third number is a multiplication of first two again the third number is a multiplication of previous two the third number the next number is again a multiplication of these two now in order to find out this you are supposed to calculate these two with each other so probably you will go on calculating everything and you will find the precise answer 1944 i am not into that uh, particular thing what i will do is first i will try to understand where i will multiply viewers please look at me i am trying to tell you something very important that is going to save your time just look at me i'm i'm just i'm just trying to explain you this because i want i really want you to save your time in the examination if you will save your time right here into this question you can utilize that time into another question where the calculations may be a bit complex this is very very simple what i try to do is 108 into 10 if i will do 108 into 10 that is going to be 1080 now i checked the options the first option is 54 definitely that is not the answer i checked that answer 216c definitely that is not the answer i checked with 1002 that is b option which is very close to this 1080 so that is definitely not going to the not going to be the answer because still i have just multiplied 108 into 10 and still i have 108 in, into 8 huh just for more clarification my point is 108 into 10 plus 8 so 108 into 10 is 1080 i have to add something over here which is definitely going to be very high number so according to the given options the answer is d now if the given options are very close to each other then and then only calculate the entire value otherwise try to figure out the answer in the smartest way i would also like to tell you another clue look at me everybody try to understand my point if you look at this multiplication 108 into 18 this is 8 8 za that is the unit digit will have 4 this multiplication will have 4 at its unit digit if you check the options the first is 54 second is 1002 next is 216 and next is 1944 so option b and c will be right away rejected so you will be remained with only two options a and d a is very small so there is no scope so answer is going to be d that the way if you will solve this way that will definitely save your time that will definitely increase your accuracy let's go to the third series uh, i would also like to tell all the viewers that i am i am explaining this lecture in the uh, context of all the final year students so i really don't know uh, shreya ma'am or manush sir is into which year or uh, which this uh, this thing so i just request you that i have selected i have i have hand picked these num these questions uh, that are frequently asked in wipro so in the first part of this series lecture i have some simple problems so i would request don't consider that all the problems are going to be simple definitely there are some challenging series as well and i'm i'm explaining this to all my final year students my target audience is final year students so you try to understand that this is this is the reason i am explaining all this i hope you all will understand my point let's go ahead ajay sir i would request you to, to bring the next series on the screen that is the third one 24 is to 50 right yes so right here on your screen 24 is to 50 is to 102 is to the next answer now look at this we are supposed to find out the trend into this particular series so i think very simple anybody can figure out take your time it's 24 twos are 48 plus 2 right just for to elaborate this 
You have to select option B, that is your answer. Can you see this? Everybody, Ajay sir, please uh, yes, remove that screen. So that this is a multiplication of 2 to the previous number or the previous value and plus 2 into it. Everybody, you are getting this? Ajay sir, uh, let it be on the screen. Let's go ahead uh, with the next problem. Quite interesting. Go ahead with the next problem. By that time, those who have not understood, you can check this. Ajay sir, uh, bring that screen, PPT screen on the uh, opposite side so that the board will be visible. Put it on the opposite side. Yes. So look at this 24 into 2 plus 2, 50. 50 into 2 plus 2 is 108. It is done. So try out the next series. There is on this, it is right there on your screen. 3, 15, 35, 63, quite challenging. Oh no, sir, I am waiting for your answer. Ashutosh, sir, I think Ashutosh, sir, has left. I think, I don't know whether he is available or not. Try to tag Ashutosh, sir, in the comments so that if he is there. Amit Sarode. Hello, sir, hello. Amit, sir, hello. Say hello to Amit Kumar Naik sir. Respond to Amit sir, Amit Sarode sir. Say hi to him. Say good evening. <clears throat> Manoj sir, I am waiting for your answer. He is right from Telangana. All right, all right. I think we are not able to respond to that comment, right? We cannot reply to that comment, I guess. Not possible. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm waiting for your reply. It's a very simple series. I request Rutura sir to respond to the series. Rutura sir, Manoj sir, Shreya madam. Anybody can give me the answer? I think Manoj sir has left. I think so. See, perfect. Perfect. You are absolutely correct. Shreya ma'am, something is wrong. She is answering the earlier one. Shreya ma'am is still into this problem. 206 wala. Pragati says 99. Perfect. Pragati, you are absolutely right. Correct. Manoj sir says C. Perfect. Hmm? Now let's let me just explain for all the viewers. Amit sir, perfect. Amit sir, this says 99. You're absolutely right. The given series is 3. Ajay sir, please correct me if I'm wrong. 3, 15. Let me just write a little bit on the higher side. Oh, look at this. 3, 15. Bring that uh, PP to the side. 3, 15, 35 and 63 this is the given series now look at the trend 3 into 5 we will get 15 so basically we have multiplied this 3 by 5 next is we have multiplied 5 by 7 that is we have kept this 5 and we have multiplied this 7 that gives us 35 now 7 will be as it is and the next number will be 9 so these all are these all are odd numbers the difference of 2 so it's going to be 63. If you continue with the same, that will be 9 and the next odd number will be 11. So 11 into 9 is 99. So the next number in this series will be 99. So all those who have answered C, 
I must congratulate your correct and I think it was very easy. So you have rightly identified. Let's go ahead. Ajay sir, help Manoj sir and Shreya madam to solve the next problem so that there will be waste of time in that in their context. So Manoj sir, the next problem is right away on your screen. Find the next series. Find the next number in the series. 5, 25. There, there must be a correction Ajay sir. 5, 25. 5, 25, 61 and 113. You, you cannot ask your students to solve a wrong series, right? Ah, this is correct. So take it on screen. 5, 25, 61 and 113. I have intentionally uh, kept this on screen. If anybody is going to come later on and he is going to check. You have to understand that this is a given series to us. The trend is key 3 into 5 is 15. Now we have kept this 5 as it is and multiplied with next odd number this is 35. Now 7 as it is, next odd number 9, 63. 9 as it is, 11, 99. Surprisingly, Anil Patil sir is not there, right? Anil Patil sir is not there. <coughs> So Manoj sir, chalo, I am waiting for your answer. Manoj sir is very proactively solving it. Shriya madam is also doing it. Pragati Kautikar is also doing it. Amit sir has recently joined us and he has given the correct answer, Amit Sarodi. I would request Shriya madam to post her college name and maybe from which geography she is. As Manoj sir has joined us from Telangana. I request Shreya madam to this is uh, I, I request Ruturaj to comment on this Ruturaj I am waiting for your answer hmm? this is quite interesting huh? this is not as easy as you all are thinking 5 25 61 and finally 113 and we are supposed to find out the next number in the given scene this is not as easy as you are thinking any comment Ajay sir, any comment to Bedit Shriyas says, okay, she is still into the, I think the problem earlier about. Alright. I am sure that this series is not as easy as you all are thinking. All the viewers be careful about this. Ajay sir, you can shift that window to little bit to the right side. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Still more, I guess. Divya Madam, I hope the numbers are visible on YouTube screen. I hope the numbers are visible on YouTube screen. Check out. Check out this. 5 is the first number. 25 is the next number. 61. So this is not a basically a multiplier series, ratio series. And even you are not able to find out. Manoj Kumar sir says A is the answer. Perfect sir. You are right. Perfect, perfect. You are right. Answer is A. Perfect. So look at the series. First of all, this is not a different series. Manoj sir, please give me, please allow me to explain for others in a more detailed way because there are many students, those who will not be able to understand the way you are doing it. Hmm? Just, just allow me for next two to two to three minutes. I would explain for them. Shreya ma'am, Pragati Kauthekar, Rutura sir, Amit Sarode sir, Mik Kumar Naik sir, Raman sir, if he is there, I would request you all, Shifali madam, please look at, it, look at this screen. Now observe the trend, difference between this is 20, now the difference is not 20 here, correct? If I multiply 5, 5s are, this is not 5, 25 are, this is, there is some odd trend into this. Let me explain to you. First of all, uh, this is 1 square plus 2 square, that is 5. This is a classic example how you should implement your basic knowledge to solve this series. First check whether this is a pure series. It is directly in the form of a pure cube, square, difference, twin series. You need to, you need to observe. This is not difference, sum. Um, ratio you cannot apply any trend to this 
even you will not be able to figure out the trend that is difference is 20 next the difference is i think 20 25 plus 11 correct so 36 so the first difference is 20 the second is 36 what about next 61 yes 61 61 60 plus 60 is 120 correct so minus 7 plus 1 that is plus minus minus 6 so somewhere it is around 54 if i am not wrong right now i don't know the next now check with this what is the difference between these two i think it is 16 what is the difference between these two yes difference between these two 36 plus 4 and 14 that is i guess 18 so again there is a difference too but i do not have sufficient data to establish the relationship between these two so probably this is not going to work in this case so i cannot say that this is a two tier series or three tier series or a series which will have a relationship of perfect square perfect cube it's something different so what i have tried to do is one square one two square four that is five next look at look this 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. So 16 plus 9 is 25. So let's go ahead. I am going to continue the train. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next will be 5. 5 square plus 6 square. Right? So 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. So 36 plus 25. 30 plus 20, 50. Correct? 5 plus 6 is 11. I have done it on my, my level only. I have not used pain or something. This is the way you have to do it in your examinations. It's very simple. 25 plus 36. Add 3, 30 plus 20, 50. 5 plus 6 is 11. Do it in this way. You will get your answer right away. That is 61. Now what is going to be the next? You can identify now. 7 square plus 8 square. Now verify whether this is correct or wrong. 7 square is 49 plus 8 square is 64. So 60 plus 40, 100. 9 plus 4, 13. So 113, your number is with you. So it's going to be 113. And now the final number which is to be calculated, 9 square plus 10 square. 10 square is 100. 9 square is 81. So it is going to be 181. And Monosur has rightly done it. 181. Show the next problem on the screen. Till then, I will explain this again. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Let it be there. Okay. Write down the problem. Write down the next problem on your paper. Write it down. I will just have a sip of water by the time. Hmm? The problem is. 3, 7, 13, 21 and next 3, 7, 13, 21. I would request Ajay sir to just mute the video so that I can have what. You can uh, check the given number, given series. That is 3, 7, 13, 21. You can check that 3, 7, 13, 21. What will be the right answer that we have to identify? Try to find out this is definitely very easy because difference between 3 and 7 is 4, difference between 13 and 7 is 6, difference between 13 and 21 is 8 and the difference between the next and the number to be figured out must be 10. Pragati says 31, perfect Manoj sir you are right, 31. Basically, <coughs> on the board, 3, 7, 13, 21. Difference between these two is, yes, 4. Next is 6. Next is 8. 
so obviously the difference has to be 10 because the difference between these two is 2 you can say this is a two tier series you can say that this is a two tier series because the difference in the second generation has remained constant if i made am i right difference between difference between these two consecutive numbers in the second generation has remained the same this was first generation this was second generation the difference is same so this is 31 i think all of you are able to understand as this is a very simple question let's go ahead display the third the next problem on the screen find out the next series that is 2 4 12 48 and probably the next one so 2 2 the 4 4 3 is 12 correct it's quite simple i guess ajay sir bring it on the screen 2 4 12 48 it's quite simple so it's a multiplication series you can call it as ratio as well this is the ratio is 2 the ratio is 3 the ratio is 4 so the ratio must be 5 am i right diva ma'am am i right now you need to be very alert many students will start calculating directly don't do that first try to understand this is an even number 8 at units place 8 at units place is an even number so 8 5 za will definitely have a 0 at the unit digit so check the options first yes check the options oh so all the options have 0 not an issue still that could be figured out because 48 can be split into two parts 40 plus 8 so 45 is a 200 8 5 is a 40 so unit digit must be 0 second the 10th place is 4 so try to have okay you will be having your answer b perfect 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 pragati has rightly done it just to complete this 240 you are getting my point if that was the case that 8 into 5 and you did not have uh, 0 at the unit digit for all the rest of the answers then the answer which have 0 at end will be the correct one that you have to select try to save your time in the calculation that is going to help you much okay can i can i take it ahead Yes, suggest sir, go for the next problem. Viewers, you can solve the next problem. I would like to see the concurrent count. Uh, yes so the next is obviously 255 255 230 250 235 and finally 245 and the number so if you check that carefully the difference between two alternate numbers is same kind of you can say it's just kind of mixed one 5 so if you look at this it must be 5 so 235 right one less than that 255 250 255 245 230 235 so 235 yes it has increased by 5 so the answer must be 240. Regarding this, Yash Jain, Yash has come, right? 
Yes, you are going to have a call today, right? Say yes if you are able to see me. Say yes if you are able to hear me. Manoj sir, you are you are absolutely you are absolutely right. You have perfectly solved the question. Thanks for being being there with me. Manoj sir, the next question is quite complicated. Next question is there on this on your screen. Next question is quite complicated. Next question is quite complicated. Okay, all right, Yash. Thank you so much. Next question on your screen. Yes, five. Three point five. Again five. Again a question mark. Again twenty one point five. Now next is sixty fifty six point seventy five. I guess this is a little bit complicated series. All the viewers try this. No, Amit sir says nine. I think. No, Amit sir, answer is not nine. I think you may have tried, but calculations. You please check your calculations again, Amit sir. Just check your calculations again. Hmm? I would like to write the trend five into zero point five plus one. That gives us 3.5. So I have taken the first number 5. I multiplied this number by half, that is 0.5. I have added 1 to it. You are getting my point? The answer is 3.5. Now I will take this 3.5 here into. I will multiply this by 1 plus. I will add 1.5 here. So I have increased the multiplier by half. That is 0.5. I have also increased the number to be added after this multiplication by half. So this will give me 5 again. Let me take this 5 into 5 into add 1.5. This add half to it, so 1.5. So probably 15 fives are 7.5. Am I right? 1.52 za 5. So if this if this decimal point was not there, it is 75. So 7.5 is my answer. Plus add half again, 0.5 again to this number that brings me 2. So 7.5 plus 2 is 9.5. So Amit sir, 9.5 is the correct answer. First of all. Manoj sir might have come up with the answer probably. Oh, Manoj sir is still calculating the answer. I think Shreya madam has a delay into his into her uh, live streaming because she is giving correct answers, but she is a little bit late into this thing. But Shreya madam, your answer is correct. Two forty five. So look at this. Are you able to understand? Now I need to just verify whether the next number follows the same trend or not. Huh? Whether the next number follows the trend or not? Let's let's verify now. Nine point five into yes. Add half again. That is two. That will become two now. So nine two is eighteen. Correct. Plus 0.5 into 2 is 1 half into 2 that is 1. So 18 plus 1 is 19. Plus I have to add I have to add 2.5 now. Correct? So let me explain again. 9 into 2 is 
0.5 into 1 is that is 190 and 2.5. So 18 plus 1 is 19, 19 plus 2 is 21 and half is 21.5. So you need not to check for the further value. It's now validated, verified. So we have rightly identified the trend and the answer that was expected for us is 9.5. Let me explain again in this particular case. The number was not as the, the series, the trend in the series was not as easy as we are thinking. That was a little bit complicated. Correct? A little bit complicated. I could say this was a twin type of series. It's a twin series, which is a combination of multiplication and addition. So I would request Ajay sir to bring the next num next question in the series. That is 844832. Right, eight four four eight hundred. I'm going to uh, scratch the board now because we already explained this. So the number is eight four four eight, and finally thirty two. Right. I think uh, even in this series, even again in this series, the trend is not as easy as you are thinking. It's a 10 series again. Let me explain. So 8 into half, that is 0 0.5, we have 4 with us. Now 4 into 1, I have raised this by half, that is 0 0.5, I am getting 4. So first of all, it was 8. Now we have 4 with us. Now again we have 4 with us. What is next? 4 into, yes, 2. Correct? Which is 8. Now 8 into 4, that is 32. Now you have a simplified trend over here. Half into 2 is 1. 1 into 2 is 2. 2 into 2 is 4. I am just going on doubling this value. I am making two times of this value half into double one into double two into double so you can check eight into half four four into one i have doubled the value four four into double two eight eight two so what will be the next value is going to be 32 into eight am i right so 30 into eight is 240 30 into 8 is 240. Look at this. 30 into 8 is 240 plus 2 into 8 is 16. So 240 plus 16 is going to be 256. So right there, D is the option. Right there, D is the option and you can get the answer. Next. Uh, the next series on the screen is very easy. Let's do not waste time. 129, the difference between 129 and 128 is 1. 128 and 124 is 4. Difference between 124 and 115 is 9. Difference between 115 and the next number. So if you observe that earlier the difference was 1 then 4, then 9, that is square of 1, square of 2, square of 3, the next must be the square of 4, correct? What I mean to say by this, look at this. One twenty nine, one twenty eight, one twenty four, one hundred and fifteen, 128, 124, 115 and a question mark. So this is 1 square of 1, this is 4 square of 2, this is 9 square of 3, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. So next must be 16, which is 4 square. Am I right? Ajay sir, adjust the camera accordingly. So the value will be, the value will be 115 minus 16, that is 99. Now we need to validate the next number in this way. So this must be 25 because it is 5 square. 
So this is 74 verified. So the correct answer, your correct answer is 99, which is A. Probably Manushar might have replied it in line. All right, all right. So Ajay sir, go to the next problem. This is the last problem that I have for you in, in the series lecture. I would like to also tell you all the, all the viewers that tomorrow I am going to cover a very crucial chapter that is number system. And I personally find that this number system is just based on your logic. You might be, you, you will be surprised that how could I say that a number which is related to mathematics could be a logical uh, logical problem but definitely in number system you have to apply your logic you have to very uh, logical in solving these questions because that is going to ultimately help you i will be going ahead with the last problem and then we will uh, complete the session tomorrow i would like to i would like to have you all in my session for number system ajay sir the problem is 0.5 0 0.5, 1 0.5, 1 0.5, 5, 18 and finally 76 and the number to be find out. Now look at the trend, 0 0.5 into 1 plus 1, next is 1.5 into 2 plus 2. So this is half plus 1, 1.5, this is 1.5 into 2, 3 plus 2, 5. Obviously you can check with the next, that is 5 into 3 plus 3, that's a type of 2 in series, so 15 plus 3 is 18, right? Next is 18 into 4, that is 72 plus 4 is 76, yes, we have a trend. So what is the next? 76 into 5 plus 5, correct? So, uh, 7, 70 into 5 is 350 plus 30. So, 350 plus 30, 380 plus 5. Maybe 385 is the right answer. You need to understand this. All the students, those who are going to watch this particular problem, Okay, Manoj sir, I would answer this uh, question after some time because let me explain this first of all. <clears throat> Look at this. 76 into 5. 76 into 5. The way I have done it, 70 into 5, 6 into 5. Simple. So, 70 into 5, 350 plus 30, that is... 380 plus 5 is 385. So try to have this. Okay, all right, you can put down it. I would like to answer Manoj sir first of all. Uh, Manoj sir, you are preparing for Wipro. Please reply. Are you preparing for Wipro this year? Yes, if you are going to appear for this examination, say yes. If you if you could listen to me, say yes. I have the same question for Shreya Madam as well. Do you, are you going to appear for Vipro? Okay. Uh, Manoj sir, just out of curiosity, did you did you appear for TCS Ninja? Manoj sir, did you appear for TCS Ninja? I would also like to wait for uh, Shreya ma'am to respond. Manoj sir, did you appear for TCS Ninja? 
I'm waiting for your reply. Yes, great. Great, great, all right. So to be very honest with you about Wipro in, in case of reasoning, it's a it's a mixed type of questions that are being asked. The level of difficulty in logical reasoning section is not going to be very tough. Would not prepare that time, sir. All right, you can prepare this time. We will definitely help you for in your preparation. See, in logical reasoning, the questions are typically are spread over uh, the types like number series, letter series, then uh, that alphabet series. Definitely, there are few questions. Abhi, Ajay, sir, I request you to close it down. Uh, the questions are also of, from the sections or from the chapters, say syllogism, bullet relations. There will not be definitely there is no complex arrangement and setting arrangement type of questions into Wipro, but the questions like say, say the word series, alphabet series, number series, easy questions of syllogism, easy questions of uh, you can say blood relations are also expected. Symbolic blood relation is also expected and I would also request you to uh, type your email address so that I will share a PDF document with you containing the detailed syllabus of Wipro for all the all the sections because we already have some important topics that are frequently asked or that is that are probably expected to be asked for reading comprehension and essay writing as well. Along with that, I will share the document with you or your email address that will include the sample question papers of or typical question papers that are being frequently repeated over the years for Wipro and LTH that will cover all the details of logical reasoning and all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you can note it down in your this thing and you can hide that comment. Please do it as early as possible. Just copy that email address. And hide that comment so that no others will be able to get it. So Manoj sir, I have received your email address. I have uh, hide that comment. Yes. So I have already uh, noted your email address, Manoj sir. I will share a detailed syllabus of Wipro with you, Wipro analysis with you that will cover weightages as well, like how much weightage this thing have, this this sections have. And again, I would like to tell all the viewers tomorrow I will be covering number system. And typically that number system is based on base numbers, relationships of HCF and SIM with each other, some indices, search problems and all these things. So I would request Shreya ma'am to say yes if she is still there. How many users are there? How many viewers are there? Ajay, sir? I'm going to close this lecture in next two to three minutes. I'm going to close my lecture. I'm going to end my lecture in next two to three minutes. Uno, sir, you will get your uh, this thing, right? Uno, sir, you will be able to get your uh, document before tomorrow afternoon would make sure that you will receive that document on your inbox and I hope you will join the lecture tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. My pleasure, sir. I would request you to share this link with your peer friends so that even they will be able to watch this session. Hoping that this lecture may be helpful as I have earlier told you that Number series could be quite complex, it could be more in more detail, it could have lots of variety, but exclusively this lecture was targeted for Wipro uh, NLTH and it has the same level of difficulty, this is not much difficult. That is the reason I tried to cover, I have already covered 12 problems, maybe 3 problems are remaining, maybe I would cover that tomorrow. Because it's already one hour and around 38 minutes since we have started. So I would request all the viewers to be there with me tomorrow at exactly at 6 o'clock with number system 15 problems. Wish you all the best for your preparation. Share this lecture with all your peer uh, students so that they will be able to watch this and 
uh, get a benefit of this thank you so much thank you again see you bye bye say thank you good night don't close the lecture till i say say good night good night viewers ready heart sure amit sir good night i would love to have you there tomorrow would like to receive your feedback and compliment say good night all the viewers those who are there say good night so that we will have a communication say good night say good night then you can leave say good night take the concurrent viewers good night sir thank you manoj sir thank you so much good night shreya ma'am are you there say good night see you pragati see you pragati see you there tomorrow lecture ajay sir just go a little bit uh, on the other part so that i could see viewers shreya say good night umesh patil sir has come umesh patil sir thank you so much go ahead go ahead go ahead i, I want to see the viewers yes shreya good night see you tomorrow in the lecture pragati see you tomorrow in the lecture yes sir see you tomorrow all right amit sir oh sir i would like to see you tomorrow hello theek hai close i am ending my session thank you so much for being present in the lecture you can close it